Talk program targets the exact problem that keeps a student from succeeding. Morning anchor John Nicely introduces us to a Seattle second grader who's used it and made big improvements. Second graders at the Amazing Grace campus of Renton Prep are learning to read using Microsoft Immersive Reader technology. What's the easiest, do you think, for reading this? Um, yes. Black. You would like to have it black. All right. It actually helped me a lot. Carrick was way behind his classmates two years ago in kindergarten. He did not know hardly any of the letters of the alphabet or sounds. And through the year, he still did not pick those up. But now he's catching up. Immersive Reader lets students click on a word they don't know. Carrick showed me how. So this word here, what is this word? B. And click for a pronouncer. Beehive. And it's a beehive. And it helps with writing by reading back what they've written. I wrote exit, I met excited. And so it's a great tool for self-correcting. It's where best practice teachers meets the right technology you get next practice. Mark Sparvell is a former teacher. Now with Microsoft, he helps schools all over the world integrate the learning tools. Immersive Reader has more than 9 million users. And that next practice is where the students are able to self-manage, they're able to become self-aware of their learning, and they're able to take control of the amount of support they need. For Carrick, it's meant he's now reading regular hard copy books at home. Like Stick Dog, it's a chapter book, I used to not read it. The Life of Pi, it's another chapter book, but it's even longer. That's my goal. And now you can read it? Anyone can get Immersive Reader and Microsoft Learning Tools. It's a free add-on for Word, OneNote, Outlook, Edge, and Office Lens. You just need Windows 7 or above. On a larger scale, it's an example of how innovation here in Western Washington is breaking down barriers. In Skyway, John Nicely, Cairo 7 News. Looking live over downtown Seattle right now. Another nice afternoon after morning clouds uh, and the weekend.